Okay, so let's see if I can explain this properly. I have a cyclohexene here. Okay. And it has a stereocenter, and that stereocenter is right here, is this carbon, because it's attached to a garden variety methyl, a hydrogen, that's two positions already. If we keep following, we have, well, yeah, hold on. If we keep following, we have a carbon versus carbon. All right, let's pit these against each other. This carbon's attached to two hydrogens. They're not on this model, but pretend like they're there. And this carbon is attached to um, two other carbons. So this one's a little heavier. This is a stereocenter, okay? Now, what formation is this in? Well, let's put our hydrogen out of the plane, away from me. And I'm looking at the stereocenter. That's going to be four. The methyl is attached to three hydrogens. That is going to be three. Then this carbon that is attached to two other carbons is going to be one. And this is going to be attached to a carbon that's two. So one, two, three. This is going to the right. This is in the R formation. Okay. What we're mixing this with is water in the presence of an acid. Hydronium, H2SO4, doesn't matter what we're getting from that acid is a proton, is a, is a hydrogen, okay? So we're mixing this, this, and this. We need this to get started. This is from our acid. This is what's gonna break this bond. So let's break this double bond. Before we do that, where do we think the hydrogen's gonna go? Rich get richer. This is attached to one hydrogen. This is not attached to any. This is going to get the hydrogen. Let's break the double bond. It's very satisfying. All right. Double bond is broken. I'm going to replace it with a single bond. Okay. All right. So this intermediate carbocation. We have a partial positive charge here, partial, partial positive charge here, because there's nothing coming out. Here's our hydrogen. Boom, okay. Now, just for the sake of completeness, all right, so this one's all full, this one's good to go. It had one hydrogen, now it has a second. Okay, here's our oxygen. Now, what happens is Eventually, through this reaction, I think both hydrogens technically come with it. It wouldn't make sense from a model perspective. It doesn't matter. We're going to get an alcohol eventually, right? Because it's an OH. With a plus charge. It doesn't make any sense, though. That is oxygen. Oh well, this is what we end up with, okay? We have um, our OH group. What we form now, but we have a decision. This is where it gets confusing because from a model perspective, there's only one place that I can put this oxygen and it's here. But there's gonna be an option here, okay? Cause it can switch places with this methyl group. It can also be placed here. Where does it want to go? And keep in mind that we're creating a second stereocenter while we're doing this. This group is attached to NOH, garden variety methyl, um, a CH2, and a CH. Four different things. But what's important is the original stereocenter with this methyl group and the steric hindrance that's gonna happen between this electronegative oxygen and this carbon. We don't want that. We don't want these in the same plane. We don't want them both coming towards me. 
So we're going to switch, which is actually originally what we had. And we're going to put it here. This is what the product that is formed more often. This is what we will have a higher percentage of. This is what is favored. The oxygen going into the paper. This original methyl coming towards me.